Hey guys! So today I'm going to be giving a really quick um, first impressions of this guy right here. This is the um, ColourPop Weekend Warrior palette and it's a collaboration between Amanda Steele and ColourPop and I wish I was a little more excited about the collaboration itself but I've never watched Amanda Steele. Um, she's a YouTuber and a model um, and I'll link her channel below but I've never really been a viewer so I'm not like super excited about the collaboration but the thing that I'm most excited about is that this palette is ColourPop's first powder shadows. Um, so I knew that I needed to buy this to test it out because I love ColourPop's regular shadows. Um, if you've ever used one you know they're really weird like cream to powder kind of texture um, which is why they come in the little pots because they have to stay really tightly closed or they will dry out. So I'm really excited to test this and see if I like it. I wasn't super excited about the colors honestly either. Um, it just looks like you know colors that I already have but I really wanted to test out the formula of these. So this is the palette. It comes with four shades. We've got Throttle, Harley, Burnout, and Chopper. And I really hope this means that ColourPop's going to come out with some like individual ones that maybe you can like put in Z palettes and things because I like their shadows but they're really bulky because they have to stay in their little tightly closed package. So hopefully if their powders are good I'll like them and they'll come out with like just individual pans kind of like MAC and Makeup Geek and that kind of thing. So you get the four shades for $18 um, so that's not bad at all. And yeah, the palette is like cardboard. It kind of has that like soft touch kind of, like it sort of feels plastic, but it's just cardboard. There's no mirror, which I'm okay with because in a cardboard palette, the mirror is likely to break. So I'm gonna take the shade Harley and I'm gonna put that first in my crease. So I don't know if you can see this, but there wasn't a whole lot of kick up in the powder, so it's not really chalky. Um, and I think that the color payoff is pretty good. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this dark, like, dusty purple color. It's called Chopper. And I'm gonna focus this on the outer corner and then bring it into the crease. I feel like that's gonna be really pigmented. <laughs> Ooh. I'm finding this one a little harder to blend, so I'm just gonna take a clean brush and just try to blend it out a little bit with that. And then for all over the lid, I'm going to go in with this lightest shade called Throttle. I really like that one. Um, I don't know if you can see that it had a lot more coverage than I thought it was going to, so it covered up some of my crease. So I'm just gonna go back in with the shade Harley and just blend out the crease a little bit. The darker shade, Chopper, um, was a little harder to work with and if you blend it out too much just because of the color that it is, it kind of gets that like you just got punched in the face look. So I'm just gonna go back with Hartley. And those two are mattes and the shade I put on my lid, Throttle, that is a shimmer. So that would be really pretty 
that's just maybe that's breaking rules to do the same lid color as brow bone but I don't care because I think it would be really pretty on your brow bone too I'm gonna take one of my favorite eyeliners this is from Urban Decay it's in the shade Empire and it's like a matte smoky purple color so perfect for these eyeshadows And with a pencil brush, I'm going to go back in with Harley under my, um, what am I trying to say? My lash line. <laughs> and you guys know I'm really bad at filming this, so I'm sorry. <laughs> And also for my lower lash line, I'm going to use this shade called Burnout, which is like a matte teal color. And I'm just going to focus that mostly on the outer corner. Now I'm just taking that same lid shade called Throttle and putting it on the inner corners as well. I know it's all the same so it doesn't really like have a pop to it, but I just like it. I'm gonna use my roller lash from Benefit just to put on some mascara. Nothing new here. So that is the just kind of simple eye look that I came up with using this um, Weekend Warrior palette from ColourPop and Amanda Steele. Um, for the first time of using ColourPop's powder shadows, the first time they came out with powder shadows, I think that um, they did a pretty good job. I did have a harder time working with the darkest color in here. I think for the first time though, they really did a good job. And I really, really love this light shade in here, Throttle. I think that one is really nice. It has a really good pigmentation and can be used um, all over the lid, brow bone, inner corner. I did it all. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I think that it's a really nice little palette for $18. If you like the colors that are in here, I would say go for it. Um, if not, hopefully they'll come out with some other colors that we like better. But yeah, I'm really excited to see where they go with the powder shadow idea. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of not like an exciting tutorial or anything, but I just wanted to kind of give my opinion on it since it's a new type of product that they've come out with and you guys know how much I love my ColourPop, so obviously had to test it out. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, come find me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. I'll have all that linked below. And subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!